Hello! Um, I'm back with another video. I didn't think I'd come back this quickly, but um, all this uh, free time I have now in the mornings is really making me feel inspired with YouTube. Uh, so I thought I would do this kind of uh, week-long video of me studying French. So just a little bit of background history. I studied French for seven or eight years in high school. Um, many of those years was immersive, meaning that my all my subjects were in French. Um, so like math, science, all in French. And probably I got to a fairly high level, but then I graduated and completely stopped using French, com like I don't read, I don't speak, I don't listen, nothing. So I thought I would kind of document um, my studying from like a false beginner stage. Um, I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to study, but um, right now I'm just reviewing some basics of like little things that I forgot. And uh, surprisingly, I remember a lot of vocabulary. Um, if you don't know, I'm Canadian. so. In Canada, um, it's a bilingual country, so English and French, and so everything like signs, packaging, um, like many like things like that has French and English. So I think I just kind of absorbed a lot of uh, vocabulary simply from living around that kind of atmosphere. <laughs> So yeah, um, before we get started, I'm just going to show you my two French notebooks. Um, right now I'm using the... I will try and put a picture here. Uh, I don't know how to do that yet, but we'll see if it works. Um, French step-by-step. -step. Um, it's just a beginner textbook and I'm kind of skipping things I know and just kind of reviewing things I don't know. So this is my French grammar notebook. Um, it's got like just like le français and i've just got like this little uh cute like j-hope sticker on it <laughs> so in this um i just kind of uh write my grammar notes i try and focus a lot on the exercises so if it's like a topic i know i think i know I will do the exercises anyways. If I make a lot of mistakes, I will go back into that unit and kind of just uh, read through and highlight anything I don't know. Um, so yeah, I've just been reviewing like present tense, present tense conjugation of like er, re verbs and stuff. And then we have this little one. I haven't decorated it yet. I'm still thinking of what I want to do. And this is kind of my immersion notebook. Um, so right now I'm listening to the Duolingo French podcast. And surprisingly, my comprehension is quite high with listening, which was not what I expected. Um, so what I do is I just write like chunks of the transcript here. And then I any like words or phrases that I don't know or that I didn't remember very easily, I uh, write them. And on this page, I've actually started writing some like in the pink, I've started writing some common, like if it's a word I don't know, um, if there's a common phrase that comes with that word, I will write it down. Uh, for example, like la, la conna connaissance, connaissance. Connaissance. I have to work on my pronunciation. Uh, and then there's like the compound verb uh, faire la connaissance de, and it just means like to meet someone or like to become acquainted with someone. So um, those are what I'm studying with now. And yeah, so follow me for a week of my French study sessions. So enjoy.
My dog is chewing my shoe. One second. Hi again. Mm, I just finished studying like a huge chunk of the Duolingo podcast. So what I do is I practice reading. Um, my pronunciation is terrible. Uh, once I get a little bit more review done, I'm going to start doing some italki lessons to improve my pronunciation. So here we go. Uh, je déteste les vacances scolaires parce que je parce que tous mes amis étaient en, étaient en, en vacances et moi je devais travailler dans, dans la boulangerie mais il y avait des avantages les jours où j'allais à l'école je pouvais prendre des croissants et les donner à mes amis j'étais contente de pouvoir contente content de pouvoir les partager avec eux Reading. Hey everyone, um, just a quick update on the week French session. Um, last night my my puppy was very energetic because he broke his harness and we couldn't go for a walk so um all i could do last night was some exercises you see lots of red marks right <laughs> um i did kind of bad i'm i'm really bad at remembering the accents on letters so a lot of my mistakes are kind of just spelling mistakes but it's fine that's fine um and yeah so i did one two three four exercises um i forgot how like bad i am at conjugating verbs but it's okay it's okay um i have to work a lot today so i don't know how much that i will study when i get home but hopefully i can show you a little bit of my evening study session um, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys more of my reading. Uh, I'm going to read the first few paragraphs of the Zero Lingo French podcast, episode one. Um, so let's start. So let's see. Tous les jours, je conduis mon camion et j'apprends les baguettes dans un panier. Je vais directement dans la cuisine. Je laisse le panier là avec les 20 baguettes. Ensuite, je prends la peignée vide et je pars. Tous les boulangers veulent gagner les concours de la meilleure baguette de Paris. Si un boulanger vous dit le contraire, c'est un menteur. Il, et il ne faut pas le croire. Croyez? Croire? Croire? Croyez? Like, like, true thing, believe? Il a fait la connaissance de ma mère et ensemble ils sont venus à Paris. Ils ont ouvert le, leur premier boulangerie. Grandir dans, un, grandir dans une boulangerie, c'est une expérience unique. J'étais tous les temps et je devais rester sur un tapis où ma mère pouvait me voir. C'était mon territoire. Elle devait elle devait pouvoir s'occuper de moi et servir, servir, servir les clients en même temps. Mes parents nous ont appris à travailler en famille, à être très solidaires. Alors je servais avec ma mère, je faisais fais la vaisselle avec les employés et je cuisinais avec mon père. Je détestais les vacances scolaires parce que tous mes amis étaient en vacances et moi je devais travailler dans la boulangerie mais il y avait des, des avantages le jour où j'allais à l'école je pouvais prendre des croissants et les donner à mes amis j'étais contente de pouvoir les partager avec eux ok so I'm, one thing I do is when I listen to the podcast I kind of shadow the speaker um, 
So when I write down all the transcript part, I then I read it and shadow along with it. So yeah, that's my horrible French pronunciation. Um, if you hear that sound, it's my dog chewing a bone. <laughs> so yeah. Um, today is also 31 degrees in Korea. <sighs> so I've kind of got no energy. Yeah. So thank you for watching this far. So stay tuned to see my evening study session and anything else I do this week. Here's the sound that you maybe heard in my last clip. Welcome back. So it's like four days later from my last video, um, but yeah, it's not gonna be like a study French in a week with me. It's gonna be like a study French for a random few days with me. So yeah. Um, do you ever have those days where you feel like you don't look like yourself? Um, that's why I keep looking this way because I'm looking at myself. But I feel like I look strange today. Like, not bad. Like, just not like Catherine. Okay. Um, so I'm here to do some more French reading because I want to work on my accent a little bit more. Um, so I'm on this site called lingua.com. I'll put the URL right here. Um, if you go like lingua.com backslash French backslash reading, you get like a whole bunch of like reading texts. Um, this is my first time using this site because yeah, so I'm, they have it divided by level A1, A2, B1, and B2. Um, I'm going to try a B1. Um, let's read La, la Celebrace. Le Salavas Blue. Okay, I can't speak French today. Uh, oh, my dog is going to bed. He hates when I film. Usually he'll bark because I'm not paying attention to him, but now he's just going to bed. All right. Uh, actually, let's read an A2. Uh, un journée avec Alice. Okay, let's read. Oh, it's short. Okay. Uh, chaque jour, Alice se lève vers 6 heures et prend un petit déjeuner. Composé de pain, de fromage et d'œuf. Ensuite, elle prend sa douche, douche et se prépare pour filer en 10 minutes vers la gare. Alors, le train qui l'amène, l'amène, en vie est souvent bondé. Les gens font crise, mineront la trajet de 15 minutes en consultant leur smartphone. Or les écouteurs visés au Oriel alors que nous approchons de l'arrivée. Il faut alors prendre le métro durant 20 minutes avant d'arriver devant l'école. Or le, de longueur s'enchaîne pendant lesquelles Alice et ses camarades apprennent de nouvelles choses. L'après-midi, Alice va nager à la piscine. piscine. Le soir venu, oh, il faut rentrer en prenant le même chemin que le matin. Elle fait ce devoir, puis, puis préparer le dîner. En et finalement, elle regarde un film avant d'aller se coucher. And now there's some questions. Oh, Qu'est-ce que Alice aime faire après l'école? Oh, après l'école? Uh, uh, hmm? oh, I did it. Qu'est-ce que Alice mange pour le petit déjeuner? Uh, petit déjeuner, c'est 
à de, de fromage et de jambon en nid. When I speak French, sometimes Korean comes out. <laughs> It's kind of warm in my apartment. But... Okay, qu'est-ce que Alice mange pour la petite déjeuner? La peine est tout fromage. Oui. Pourquoi Alice se lève-t-elle tôt? Um, pour se préparer pour l'école. Combien de temps met Alice pour arriver à l'école? Euh, en... hmm. 15 minutes? 15 minutes? Oh. Hmm. Elle est 35 minutes. Que fait Alice? Avant d'aller se coucher, elle regarde un film. 100%. Oh, this site is really good. I'm gonna hopefully find out how to show you because you can just see my face. So let's see if I can figure out how to put a video over a video with this sound. So now I'm going to write down what I just read and uh, highlight any words I don't know. Um, I understood pretty much 85%, but there's a few words that I'm unfamiliar with or I don't quite remember the meaning. So, yeah, I have to go back to work in like 20 minutes. So let's see if I can do this quickly. So these questions say like, read the question aloud, answer them aloud, and then answer them in writing. Um, don't judge my spelling, it's been so long since I studied French. Uh, so let's see, question two, où est votre famille? Thank you for watching my French study video. 
um, maybe it wasn't that interesting or kind of like didn't show a lot but um, I've only recently just started studying Korean French <laughs> and um, I'm just kind of taking it easy to see like how I should be studying and what's gonna work for someone who's like a false beginner and yeah I hope you enjoyed um, yeah so if you like this feel free to subscribe or comment or like no pressure um, and I hope to see you guys again soon for my how I got topic 4 with self-study video that everyone wants to see so yeah Bye-bye.